Ms. Murthy, as we get ready to wind up the interview, this is a question I ask you every time we meet because AI keeps evolving with every meeting. It just seems to be getting better and better. As things stand, how do you see this impacting um, jobs in India, impacting the IT services sector, which is still the biggest private sector employer in the country. And we have millions of engineering graduates every year who find a home in IT. Um, are you optimistic, pessimistic? you know, what's your state of mind right now with respect to the impact of AI, the second order impact no, of I, AI on yeah. India? No, uh, thanks, uh, Chandra, for that question. Even though I left the industry more than 11, almost 11 years ago, and I really am not conversant with what is going on. However, from my general knowledge, I'll try and answer that. As I said right in the beginning, if we were to use AI as an assistive agent to improve our productivity, to make our life easier, we'll all be great winners. One of the important uh, factors that every software company, Indian software services company, uh, worries about is work productivity. My own experience with AI, with chat GPT, etc., is that you can actually improve work productivity hugely. Let me give you a simple example. In the last six months, based on the advice of my son, I have been using ChatGPT to prepare the draft of my lecture. Earlier, I used to take about 25 to 30 hours to prepare a lecture because I take these things very seriously. There must be a theme, there must be sub-theme, there must be interrelated. At the end, there must be a strong message, all of that. To, when I started using ChatGPT4, based on the advice of my son, I found that in a matter of five hours, I could improve the draft. In other words, I improved my own productivity by as much as five times. Hmm. So, there is a huge opportunity in the software services companies if they were to use AI to create uh, models or what we technically used to call them skeletons. I'm, I'm talking about 79 when I started. You see, in 79 when we started doing a large project when I was the head of software at uh, PCL, I picked the four smartest engineers there and I gave them four skeletons, a data entry program or a transaction entry program, a master entry program, an inquiry program and a batch update program, etc. four or five. Because the quality of any program depends on what is called control structure. Mm. And when I got the skeletons to be written by the best four or five programmers in the group, the rest of them, what they did was they simply filled up the, the flesh into it based on the context in which they were using, whether it was a customer master or whether it was an order inquiry, etc., etc. And the productivity of people went up by probably three or four times. This was 1979. Now, AI, ChatGPT, those technologies provide us the ability to produce high quality skeletons. Uh, based on what they are doing right now, I don't know. The, the, the structure of the projects today, so I can't comment on it. And I can assure you, once 
the skeletons are produced by AI, then it becomes extremely easy for the mass programmer, for the large number of programmers to produce high quality code, high quality programs. Therefore, the, the error rate is much lower, the work productivity is much higher, and that's it. Therefore, I think the Indian software industry will accelerate its growth if the leaders were to use AI in an assistive matter, in an assistive manner and look at how to improve productivity and quality.